Okay guys, it's Emily, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you everything that you can do with the wire teleport to Fernie. Okay. For this tutorial I'm going to be using four triggers that I use almost all the time with this teleport. Okay. So the first easiest one is when user enters room. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Ant as my test dummy, while James and Melissa observe in the VIP section. <sighs> okay. So for this one, you usually don't have to click the first one, but if you only want it to be a specific user that teleports when the user enters the room, then you would just put Melissa, and it would only be Melissa that would teleport when she enters the room. But for this we're going to use any user, which is generally the one you use the most. Okay, so when Ant enters the room, I want him to teleport to this mat. So all I do is double click the effect and this will come up. Then I just click where I want him to be teleported to and hit ready. If you want, you can also do delay effect so when he enters the room, it'll take, let's say, two seconds for him to teleport. But for right now, I'm going to leave it on zero seconds. Okay, so next you have to take the effect and put it on top of the trigger. Now when Ant enters the room, he should be teleported to the map. Okay. Also, it doesn't have to be like a Fernie that you can generally step on. I'll use this gold ICM as an example. So I just double click the effect again, and I'll unselect the mat, and I'll select the ICM. And hit ready again. Then just do what I did before and place the effect on top of this. And now when Ant reloads, he should be teleported to the gold ICM. Okay, so that's pretty much all you can do with this. You can use it for numerous different things. I use it all the time. Okay. The next one is when user walks on a Fernie. This one basically is, let's say Ant steps on this mat, and when he steps on this mat, he'll be teleported to this mat, or whatever you want to decide it to be. The first one has to be a Fernie you can walk onto, but the second one doesn't, like I did before with the gold ICM. Okay, so you just take that, and then you take this effect, and this one you actually have to edit the trigger to. So you just open it, and it's the same, you can delay it. You could just keep it on zero. And whatever Fernie you want them to walk onto, you just select that, hit ready. And then you go to the effect and you select wherever you want them to be teleported to. In this case, I want it to be this map. So now, when Ant walks on this map, he should be teleported to this map. And you just place the effect on top of the trigger again. And now when Ant walks on it, he'll teleport to that map. Okay. One similar to this trigger is when user walks on off of Fernie, I mean. So I'll take this trigger and another teleport to Fernie effect. And for this one, what's different about this one than the walk on a Fernie is that he won't teleport until he walks off of this Fernie. So he can walk onto it and then when he walks off of it, he'll be teleported. So you set it up the same as always. And I want him to be teleported to this mat after he walks off of this mat. And then as per usual, you put the effect on top of the trigger, or the trigger on top of the effect. And now when Ant walks on this mat, he won't be teleported until he walks off of the mat. Like so. This can also be delayed too, by however long you want it to be delayed by. Okay. So the last one is commonly used all the time 
to set up passwords to like personal booths or to get into a VIP section like our own here. When you double click the user says keyword, you can make it so that only the owner or you will teleport or any user. And for this, I'll set it up as VIP because I want Anne to come join me and James and sleeping Melissa in the VIP section. And then you set up the teleport to Fernie. And so when Ant says this keyword, he'll teleport to inside of this VIP section. So I want to teleport to this map, which I'll move inside of the VIP section. <laughs> and he messed up. And it did not work yet. This is a good example, actually, to show that it won't work unless you have it on top of it. So now I'll place the effect on top of the trigger and Ant should be teleported to me and James and Melissa. Okay, and that's it for the user teleported to Fernie. Thanks for watching.